active Aprilia 450 class will be pushed to the limits as they take on Lincolnshire's Cadwell Park. This is GP Racing Dream, the next step. Welcome to Cadwell Park in Lincolnshire for the penultimate round of the Thundersport GB Championships. This is GP Racing Dream, the next step, focusing, of course, on the Aprilia 450 RRV Cup that has been following the Thundersport series around all this year and for a few seasons gone. It's a very successful championship, Aprilia based, of course, and we have had a delicious championship so far this year. But as you can see with the riders lining up on the front row, we have this weekend been able to crown the champion, Callan Cooper, the young man there on the front row with a number one on the front of the Aprilia RRV 450. He's had a superb season and uh, in the last race yesterday was able to be finally crown himself the champion of the 450s but there's still plenty up for grabs here at Cadwell Park we've got to settle second and third places you can see Sam Cox on the right of your screen number 54 trying to get away well but it is the new champion Callan Cooper that gets off the line best as they head up and into Coppice Corner, this uh, left-hander here at Cadwell Park, and then through Charlie's in and Charlie's out. This is the Park Straight, not much of a straight really. It's uh, down a dip and then slightly kinked left before breaking down into the tricky and tight Park Corner. That's David Allingham that's moved up into second place, the Ulsterman. Uh, David suffered a bit of an injury midway through the season, really hampered his chances of winning the championship. We've got a rider with an arm up in the air there. I think just an apology more than anything else. Oh, Callan Cooper! My word! Uh, that is an enormous crash out of the bottom of the gooseneck. The bike uh, continues on. Uh, great to see Callan up and walking away, but that is a monster crash outside, uh, just out of the gooseneck there. Let's just have a replay of that, just on the power slightly too early and uh, very lucky to get away with that. And the great thing about being at the front of that is he wasn't collected by anyone. The bike continued. Um, blimey, that's gone all the way over to the other side of the circuit into Charlie's. That is a long way away. Uh, that means that David Allingham then it is that leads from Sam Cox in second place. There is number 34, Louis Dawson who's been uh, riding mixed machinery this year, but certainly coming on strong in the second part of the season. As they come down the hill and exit Barn and complete the first lap, we have no Callan Cooper, the champion is out, but it's Allingham from Sam Cox, just peeling out of the slipstream of Sam Cox. There is Ross Twyman, rider from uh, Canterbury. Another young, a pretty super teen championship rider from last year that made the move up and is doing very well. And in fourth place there, is uh, Jamie Thackeray, number 94, older brother of Luke Thackeray. And uh, he certainly knows his way around Cadwell Park. Done many a race around here, has Jamie. I'm just looking, I think, behind Thackeray in fourth uh, with the white and black leathers. That is Will Hodgson. They tip into the new chicane here at Cadwell Park. And uh, Callan Cooper's putting his feet up. That's the end of his race. He gets to watch the rest of this unfold but it's David Allingham with a couple of bike lengths lead as they go into Hall Benz in second place Sam Cox holding up a train of riders that include uh, Ross Twyman that's number 75 Bradley Jones another rider that moved up from the Aprilia Super Teens last year and as they exit Barn Corner it is Allingham and this time Ross Twyman pulls out of the slipstream of Sam Cox and makes it stick into Coppice Corner he moves up into second place. We've got a rider that's pulled out there, and that is number 30, Liam Shelcock. So Liam Shelcock's got problems. He's out of this race. There's Clinton Carver, number 37, going across the line uh, in a points position as we speak. But David Allingham leads, and that's a good move there from Will Hodgson, but he's going to run out wide. It's tight around Park Corner, and he loses out. So Ross Twyman 
moves up to second place ahead of Sam Cox. Will Hodgson demoted to fourth. Further back, that is uh, Russell Brown, 2-1-2, making a move on Clinton Carver. And it uh, looks like Adrian Pendrill also having some fun with those guys. They're battling at the moment for 11th, 12th and 13th place. But at the front of this one, having a look over his shoulder, Northern Ireland's David Allingham. There is Bradley Jones just at the rear of this pack and probably the best place to stay for a lap or two while these guys just sort themselves out. Will Hodgson up the inside into Hall Benz and that's big and brave. There's Bradley Jones once more. Uh, going into this race, uh, Callan Cooper, as I mentioned, the champion of the 450s for this year, uh, taking the uh, championship yesterday. Tom Oliver was second overall with Sam Cox third, Will Hodgson fourth, Allingham in fifth. So Allingham's missed a couple of rounds and has got some points to make up, but this will certainly help him out. There's number 23. That is Adrian Pendrill, still involved in that good battle further back. And now number 94 making a move on Will Hodgson. That's Jamie Zachary up the inside. A great move into Park Corner. And uh, he didn't run out of room either, so executed perfectly by Jamie Thackeray there, a rider that is trying to secure himself a decent top 10 finish in this championship. Down the hill and into Mansfield we go. Allingham, it is that leads ahead of Ross Twyman. Both Allingham and Twyman. Allingham fifth in the championship, Twyman seventh. But the top three overall, uh, they're not that far ahead. And Sam Cox, number 54, just behind 14, Will Hodgson, is currently in third place looking to try and close down on Tom Oliver that's currently not out on circuit. Through Hall Bends we go and maintaining that advantage at the front is David Allingham. Uh, Louis Dawson in seventh has just fallen away from this pack uh, a little bit. He's uh, a second or so a lap down on these guys but nobody seems to be able to deal with David Allingham as they begin the final lap. He is uh, a rider into the 138.2 which is by no means the fastest lap of the race. Jamie Thackeray actually owns that one. A 37.8 for Jamie, who's looking to get himself a podium here in the 450s. Oh, a wonderful move by a former 450 champion there, Will Hodgson, showing that there's still life in him as yet. I was about to call him an old fox, but he's certainly not old. It's just compared to these uh, young teenagers he's racing. Uh, he is uh, geriatric as they go down the hill and into Mansfield. Will Hodgson looks to have secured second, has he or not? Will there ahead of Jamie Thackeray. Ross Twyman pushed down to fourth and Sam Cox now having a move. Ooh, no, he thinks better of it. But David Allingham, what a perfect race this has been. And since Callan Cooper departed the scene on the opening lap, there's been nobody really threatening David as he hurries over the mountain top and into Hall Bends. It's that fight for second place that we need to keep an eye on. And Will Hodgson looks like he might have just sorted that one out. And that'll be a confidence booster for Will. He uh, we had a chat midway through the season and he said that he was getting annoyed that he wasn't able to be on the podium as much. But it looks like it's going to happen for him. But back from injury and back to his best, David Allingham crosses the line and wins here and Will Hodgson does take second place ahead of Jamie Thackeray. An equally good result for Jamie there. Fourth place for Ross Twyman. Sam Cox looks a little bit deflated with fifth overall, but he does draw himself closer to Tom Oliver in the championship. Jones in sixth ahead of Dawson, Ben Luxton, Jordan Hull and Alex Baker in the top ten. There is your winner, David Allingham in the middle with Will to the left and Jamie on the right. Third place in the Aprilia RRV 450 class, Jamie Thackeray. That was a good race and you faced tough competition by Ross and Sam. Yeah, it was my uh, first first podium of the year, really, so I'm really proud of that. Um, yeah, I had a bit of a tough battle with Will and uh, a couple of moments where I nearly lost control, but we managed to both stay on, so I'm really happy with that anyway, yeah. It was a good race. Any sponsors to thank? Uh, yeah, North Yorkshire Roadways Supporters Clubs. They've helped us out massive this year. Uh, my mum, my dad and my grand and granddad for all their help and uh, also Thunder Sport and Ian Newton and all of in competition. Thank you. And second position goes to Mr Will Hodgson at the front of the chasing pack. How was the race? Um, it was a hard race. I had um, Jamie for company, Sam, Ross, David um, just managed to gap, gap us and got a bit of a lead but no it was hard fought. Knackered now. I'm glad to see the flag. And any sponsors to thank? Yeah, um, I'd like to thank me dad, my brother, 
um, Ron Hodgson Specialist Cars, in competition, um, Myra Gibbo, um, Nitro Helmets, um, Ace uh, Compressors and Equipment. Um, also, I'd like to dedicate this second place to George Lloyd. Um, yeah, and my girlfriend. Thank you. <laughs> and first position goes to David Allingham. We hadn't seen you on the podium for a while since Snetterton and it was a brilliant win. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, I've had some troubles, I broke my ankle at Snetterton and I had to try and get back up to the front. But um, I've been riding well all weekend and it's unfortunate for Cal. Uh, crashed out and maybe got a wee bit of luck as well because he's been, he's been riding really good all weekend. And um, No, I just managed to get to the front of the, front of, front of the pack and then uh, I just kept, kept concentrating all race. Kept looking at my pit board uh, and seeing how far they were behind me so I just managed to keep it up and keep going and take the one. <laughs> Excellent race and any sponsors you want to thank? Yeah, just like to thank everyone who's helped me this year. Um, my brother Edward and uh, my friend Stephen for coming this weekend. Uh, my dad, Ian, uh, Jimmy, everybody thank you very much. Great comeback win there for David Allingham. We'll be back after the break for race two. Pets, sports, bikes, you say what's any bike, it makes no odds. We will give you what you need, best price always guaranteed. Come to us and get a quote, you'll be singing no for no. Walk away with cash to spend on anything you want, my friend. Bike insurer, bike insurer, bike insurer. Get the cheapest bike insurance, guaranteed, only from the bike insurer. Welcome back to Cadwell Park for GP Racing Dream. The next step, the Aprilia RRV 450s are ready for race two. Number one there, Callan Cooper crowned the champion this weekend, but he'll want to put in a better performance than he did in race one, where unfortunately he high-sided out of the gooseneck. Can anybody catch number 11, David Allingham? He's on the right of your picture on the second row. Away they go from the line, and it's a good start from Tom Oliver, number 20 on the left of your screen. I wasn't able to make the grid for the last race, still not uh, quite sure why, but nevertheless, he is trying to secure himself as the runner-up in this championship. They exit Charlie's here at Cadwell, down the dip and then up towards Park Corner. And who is it going to be that uh, leads this race? It is the champion, Callan Cooper, but Tom Oliver up the inside. The uh, runner-up in waiting, I suppose, but he runs wide onto the rumble strips and up the inside. Into Chris Curve goes Callan Cooper. Now then, hold your breath. Through the gooseneck, can Callan come out the other side this time? Yes, he does. And down the hill into Mansfield, it's Cooper from Oliver, from Allingham, and then Sam Cox and Ross Twyman. As we pan back to number 99 there, Jordan Hole, uh, a race winner in this championship at the very start of the season at Brands Hatch. Out of the chicane they come. Here is the champion, Callan Cooper from Ramsey in the Isle of Man. Uh, still not sure what he's going to be doing next year, but he really is some talent. Tom Oliver is just behind him, and Tom is by no means secured in second overall in the championship due to Sam Cox picking up some points in race one. It looks as though uh, there's going to be just a few points separating Sam Cox, number 54, and Tom Oliver, number 20, for third. David Allingham is currently fifth overall, just a few points behind Will Hodgson in the championship, but a couple of decent results, and who knows, with five races to go in the championship. Up into turn one, they go, and it is still Callan Cooper that leads this one. Oh, no, it's not. It's Tom Oliver who's got the outside line, but David Allingham does look hungry, doesn't he, in third place. He's flirting with the idea of maybe leading this one and trying to clear off again like he did in race one. Sam Cox, as he did in the first race, is leading the second pack. Down the hill they go. Tom Oliver, youngster from Colchester, last year's runner-up in the Aprilia Super Team Championship, agonizingly missing out by just a single point and a, a Rizzler paper across the line to Joe Francis. Here he comes into the mountain left and right with Callan Cooper in hot pursuit and David Allingham in third and it looks as though Sam Cox might have just 
close that gap a little bit. He's lost a bit of time over the mountain. It's a bit of an art getting the mountain right. That's Will Hodgson just behind him, number 14. And there's Ross Twyman, number 15. And 94, Jamie Thackeray, who finished third in race one. Out of barn corner they come to complete another lap. Tom Oliver it is that leads this from Callan Cooper still. And the pair of them have maybe just got a tenth or so over David Allingham on that last lap. They're all into the 137s, so they're all running about a second quicker than they did in race one. Such is the talent in this group. There's a number of Aprilia Super teams already enlisted to buy 450s and enter this championship next year, so we should have full grids again. And well, who knows what lays ahead for the champion Callan Cooper and whoever finishes as the runner-up, Tom Oliver, that leads this race, or Sam Cock currently in fourth there with the bright orange leathers and the blue trim. Down into the chicane they go. Not really much room for an overtaking manoeuvre into there, but I have seen it done shoot down into the mountain it's still Oliver that leads from Callan Cooper and David Allingham Sam Cox can he get the mountain section right varied uh, styles through there for all of the riders into all bends they come and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put myself out there and say we've almost got a seven bike fight for the lead here because Sam Cox has bridged that gap now in fourth place although as they Exit Barn Corner, Will Hodgson has put himself a few bike lengths ahead of Ross Twyman. Callan Cooper has the inside line into Coppice Corner and almost gets his nose chopped off as they turn up the hill into there. You can really carry some speed into Coppice because it is uh, uphill and it's amazing how much speed you scrub off. So no need to break early. Number of riders that have gone into that corner have had to apply the power again, but there is a move at the front, and here comes Callan Cooper, the champion of 2012, wants to end the year on a high, and he has now moved up into first place ahead of Tom Oliver. David Allingham, though, you have to say, he looks dangerous in third, and Sam Cox in fourth thought about lining up a move into Mansfield. You have to make that one stick quite early on if you're going to make a move into Mansfield. It's off camber, downhill, horrible corner really. Here we go into the mountains. Still Callan Cooper, leg dangling, Kevin Schwartz style. Tom Oliver looking dangerous in second place and he is second overall in the championship. As they go into Hall Benz, he is the new race leader. He's 19 points ahead of Sam Cox, number 54, for second overall. And then it's Will Hodgson fourth in the championship on 354 points and David Allingham on 335. But a win here for Allingham. Um, if he can do the double here today, would certainly help his cause out. In the background there, number 15, Ross Twyman trying all he can, along with Jamie Thackeray, to become a part of this fight for the podium. Down we go into Park Corner again, and it's Callan Cooper that leads, and David Allingham, a lovely move up the inside into Park Corner. If you leave the slightest of gaps into Park, you're going to get nailed, and that's exactly what happened to Tom Oliver there, and Tom is going to have to try and fight back, so... Having led through Hall Benz, he drops down to third. There's Jordan Hull, currently in ninth place. Having a bit of a lonely race uh, is Jordan. Out of the chicane they come, down towards the mountain section. Callan Cooper leads from David Allingham, and the pair of them have bro broken away from Tom Oliver. Tom Oliver's actually lost a place to Sam Cox, so that fight for second overall in the championship is now the fight on circuit for fourth. So... This could go all the way to the wire in terms of the championship. Of course, the final round at Mallory Park in a couple of weeks' time for Thundersport GB. Out of Barn Corner come the race leaders, though. Callan Cooper, the champion, and David Allingham, number 11. You have to wonder if David Allingham hadn't got himself injured from Snetterton onwards, would he have been fighting here for the championship? Because if he keeps up these results all the way to the end, he's still got an outside chance of moving into third overall in the championship, and David thought about sneaking up the inside into Park Corner again there we've got a couple of fallers that's Will Hodgson and Tom Oliver um, Will Hodgson now running over and what uh, I'm really not sure what that's about maybe uh, old age getting the better of Will there <laughs> a bit of a shove in the back I'm not really sure what happened there but either way Will Hodgson is out of the race so fourth place man in the championship and second place man in the championship out of the race 
as it is then, that leaves Callan Cooper out front with David Allingham. It's just going to be between these two for their eighth win, surely. Sam Cox now a lonely third. That helps Sam Cox out enormously. If things stay as they are, Sam Cox will move to within three points. And there is Tom Oliver in second. He looks absolutely furious. Now, on the back of the fastest lap of the race, Callan Cooper has lost out. Uh, on first place and David Allingham's going to try and put in a fast lap of his own here. We're coming to the closing stages of this 450 race. Every single race we've seen this year has been fantastic and we could be up for a, a thrilling end here. The champion in second place. Will he make a move on David Allingham? I mean, he's already got the championship wrapped up, but that means nothing. He still wants race wins, but uh, he's running out of opportunities, really. Into the mountain section they go. It's Allingham looking to do the double here at Cadwell Park. And Callan Cooper looked like he got some decent momentum over the hilltop there. And through Hall Bends they go. The only chance he's really got here is if he can launch it up the inside into the hairpin. And he's going to have a go at that. No, nearly gets his nose chopped off. It's going to be close as they come out of Barn Corner and down towards the start finish line. But David Allingham is going to do the double here at Cadwell. Very close across the line. Callan Cooper, six hundredths of a second behind in second place. The champion takes 20 points and moves into the 600 point bracket for the season. Cox third, head of Thackeray Twyman. Uh, Luke Thackeray, the younger brother, Hull, Luxton, Brown and Pendrill. And there is a very happy Allingham in the centre with Callan Cooper, the champion on the left and Sam on the right. Championship standings that, as you can see, Callan Cooper, the overall champion for 2012, but Tom Oliver and Sam Cox separated by just three points, and Allingham's up there too. Third in the Aprilia RRV 450 class, Sam Cox, first time on the podium today. Must feel good. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's um, a major relief, to be honest. It's been a, a, a hard weekend. Um, I scared myself in a in a Super Twins race a bit. Um, yeah, I've had a few ups and downs this weekend, but I'm glad we could bring it up on a high, you know, and, um, and get this uh, get this third place. It's, I put put everyone in my garage for a lot, and I'd just like to <laughs> say thank you to everyone, and um, they've done an amazing job this weekend. They know who, who they are who've helped me, and uh, I also say, like to say like thank you to my dad because he's given up a lot, and my nan as well. He's given. He's given up a lot to just to make me happy and keep me racing, you know, so it's these people I need to keep me going, so thank you. Well deserved third place, well done Sam. Another win, first position for David Allingham in the Aprilia RRV 450 class. You must feel brilliant after this weekend. <laughs> yep, um, just getting loads of compliments from the other races. Um, I noticed Tom went under the front and I just sat behind him for ages and just kept on taking away, taking away every lap. and. Um, and then finally I got past Tom and I knew Calva started taking off so I started charging to try and catch him and sat behind him and had to make the move in the last lap so I just went all out and went for it. Callan is proving tough competition for you, do you think you set for Mallory? Um, I think he has set for Mallory but I don't know, <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready for him as well. And any sponsors you would like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank Bridgestone, Silkline, my dad, uh, Ian and Maya down in Putt Wall, can't do it without her. Um, my brother Edward, Stephen McShane for all our work this weekend. And um, my dad and Gail, thank you very much. Well done Dave. Second in the Aprilia RRV 450 race today, but winner, champion overall. How do you feel Cal? Feels great to actually win it, there's no pressure out there, which doesn't help a lot because you don't, you don't have that will to win as much. But, you know, second's still good really for the condition. Do you feel a, li a little less pressure now that you're champion, or are you still going to put up a good fight? A lot less pressure. Well, there's no pressure now, but I, I can, I'll try and put up a good fight as much as possible. And overall, would you like to thank any sponsors? Yeah, my mum, dad, DC, Silkeline, uh, Duke, um, John Davies, and uh, the Thundersport lot, and everyone else that's helped out. It's been great, thanks. Well done, Cal. Well, well done to JDF Racing's Callan Cooper, the champion of 2012, but second and third place still up for grabs at Mallory, the final round in a couple of weeks' time. Be sure to join us.